All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of these features to our Pinterest clone. So we have the ability to view a profile and here are all of the posts. And we've left a spot for a biography, but we haven't yet created it. And we wanna also create some kind of avatar that will go in here as well. And so we're gonna add an avatar to our user and add it to the page. Um, we can then add a bio and add that to our page. And then finally, right now you can't link on these individual pins, so we'll go ahead and add that as well. So we wanna be able to go to our edit profile and have a biography um, field here, as well as another field for changing your avatar. So let's go ahead and create a migration. Um, we'll do these one at a time. We'll go ahead and add a biography and so we'll go ahead and do Rails, generate migration, add bio to users, and we're gonna make that a string. We don't really want them putting their life story in there. And we'll do rake db migrate. Um, before we run that, we can go verify that that migration looks good. Go into db, migrate, add bio to users. So we're adding a bio column to the users table and it's a type string, that looks good. Let's go ahead and run that. And if we look at our schema, we will see that we now have a bio. So we have to do a few things here. We need to go and modify our application controller. And if we remember, we went ahead and set up these sanitizing parameters here for um, sign up and we also want to be able to do this for username so we have this username here and we want to be able to create uh, the ability for us to permit parameters inside of the account update so I've gone ahead and grabbed this from the do device documentation um, but account update will happen anytime the user goes to their edit page and we have to permit our new bio fields. We don't yet have avatar, um, but we can keep that in there for now because we are going to add that. And so what we got here is uh, the account update uh, is going to be the action that is happening. And these are the keys that are allowed. And so if we wanted to add other things here, we would do that like title and address and so forth. But we're just gonna do bio and update that should run anytime we're on a device controller. And so we can go ahead and save this. So now we can go and update our view. So here we have edit user. Again, um, this is under views, device, registrations. And we've already updated the new uh, registration view so that we can add our username. But now let's go ahead and update our edit. So we have email, um, we have Let's see, password. So let's go ahead and add our bio field. Right here. So let's do f.label bio. And let's do f.text area bio and save that. Let's go ahead and put that to text fields. Cool. Looks like we want text underscore area. There we go. Okay, so we'll have to clean this up a little bit, but we have our email, our bio. Let's go ahead and say, um, may the force be with you. And we currently have to enter our password anytime we want to save our changes. So we're gonna do that. And now if we go back to edit profile, you should see that that text is still there. If we go to pins and then click on a user, um, we have to swap this out so that we can actually output the bio. And what we'll do there is go check out our users show. And under users show, we currently are outputting this lorem ipsum uh, Latin placeholder text, but we're going to go ahead and change that to at user.bio. And 
Now this will create a blank space if they don't have a biography, um, but in this case that is now our text that we are displaying for that user. We can change that here, update that, put some exclamation marks at the end of it, go back to pins, click on our user, and you'll see that that's been updated there. So there's our biography. Uh, and then up next, we're going to go ahead and generate our model for an avatar. So if we go and take a look at PIN, you'll see that we have this data here. Um, we need this also on our user. And so we want to be able to indicate that we have an attached file and we want to validate the content type. So for simplicity, I'm just going to copy and paste this and go to our user and we're going to go ahead and change pin image which is the name of our image to avatar and we're going to verify validate that attachment content type for avatar we're going to do medium and thumb here which is fine and this will only add this to the user model we still have to create a migration which paperclip gives us so uh, what we can do here is run rails generate paperclip so we're not doing a migration paperclip comes with its own migrations built in and we're going to do user which is the model we want to add it to and then avatar which is going to be our new field name so if we run that let's go check our migration we get add attachment avatar to users t attachment remove attachment so that looks good we'll do rake db migrate again and that's now been added to our schema. So we can check out our create table users. We now have uh, username, bio, avatar file name, and so forth. Now we've already permitted this option. If we go back to our application controller, uh, we've added our avatar here. If you wanted to allow a user to upload an avatar when they created an account, which sounds like a perfectly reasonable thing to do, you could also add it um, to the signup. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the bio, we don't want to add too many steps, so we're going to keep the bio in the account update area. Um, so we can close that out. And now we really just have to um, edit our form to make it so that they can update that information. So let's go ahead and check off the things that we've just done. We've added the bio um, to our user and added it to the profile page. Um, we've added an avatar to our user, but let's go ahead and edit our form before we go ahead and check that off. So we'll come back in in another video and clean all of this up. Uh, but let's go ahead and go grab our edit registration. We have our bio. Let's go ahead and create a, another div for f.label avatar. And we will be using a file field here for avatar. And let's go ahead and check what we have up here. We need to um, also create, um, we need to add an option for multi-part true. If we want to view what that looks like, we can go look at our new pin form. And that's using a partial, so we can go look at that partial form. And you'll see that HTML colon, and then there's this hash of multi-part true. So we want to go ahead and add that to this existing option. So we have HTML method put. Let's do multi-part true. And multi-part true is important because it's going to take this image that we upload, uh, break it up into tiny pieces, and chunk it up to the server so that it gets uploaded uh, in a reasonable time so that our server can grab it, save it, and uh, send it up to S3. So let's go ahead and refresh this, and we should see we spelled field wrong, so file fields. We now have an avatar area, so we can go ahead and grab a photo. Um, let's grab Han Solo here, and again, we have to give our password to update our information. Let's go ahead and update that. And right now, um, we don't have any indication as to whether or not this is working or not. So let's go ahead and go to our account and try to output the image into our show. And then if that works, we can also indicate what the current avatar is inside of our user. And we can eventually add it to our signup as well. 
So uh, adding it to our signup page is going to be identical to this. We just add the field, we add the multi-part true, uh, and you're off to the races. But let's go ahead and try to output this under users show. So here's our username and our bio. I'm just going to put this above the um, user for right now. We would eventually want to clean this up and make it look a little bit nicer. So we're going to output with ERB in Ruby, and we're going to do an image tag. And here you can see down here what we use when we output our pin images. But I'm going to do, um, we have at user.avatar.url. And we have access to medium or thumb. And we can go ahead and do that. We're not going to add a class to this one for right now. But this should output a thumbnail of our Han Solo avatar. So if we go to pins, click on Jabba the Hut, there is our avatar. And we can go ahead and update that just to prove that it's working, make sure that we know what we're doing here. Let's go ahead and grab this other photo and update. And it looks like we gotta add our password and let's reselect our photo. Update and go to pins, Job of the Hut, there's our avatar. And you can play around with the way that Image Magic is handling uh, the cropping of these images. Uh, the things that you would look at there are under your user model. So you can define any styles that you want and there are lots of different characters that allow you to customize how and what um, aspect ratio gets cropped so that you don't end up with a 300 by 300 square if you gave it a rectangle for instance. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Some sites allow you to click and drag and create a perfect square avatar. There's all kinds of options there um, to explore in the future. But let's go ahead and take a look at our to-do list here. We have added an avatar to our user, added it to our profile page, and let's knock out this last one. Um, let's link the pin image to the pins show. And so right now these pins don't go anywhere, um, but thankfully it's a very quick fix. Uh, so right now if we look at our this is our users show, uh, here's our pin, but we also will want to do this on our pins index. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and do a link to, and instead of text here, so normally we do a link to and then some text, and then we have a place that it's going to go to. And the place that it's going to go to is effectively pin path pin. And what's nice about Rails here is that you can actually just give it pin and that will take you to the page for the individual pin which we have because we're looping through each of those pins. So what we're going to do here though is we're going to replace some text with this image and for right now let's see we're going to go ahead and get rid of this class um, so we're going to go ahead and do medium and it's going to take you to pin delete that and hit save and it looks like we are missing something here let's get our parentheses correct okay so now these are links if I click on this one it takes me to the show uh, again this page needs to be cleaned up and make it look a little bit more like Pinterest but now each of these will take you to its respective page uh, if we go to pins index Looks like we've already done that here, so we're good to go there. And we can go ahead and check that off of our list. So our next video will be a cleanup of the HTML. So we've got a bunch of things here to clean up as well as our uh, details for individual profile pages, editing a page, those kinds of things, uh, as well as adding our next bit of features uh, which will be happening next week, and that includes repinning something uh, or having liking and the ability to organize pins into boards. So we will see you for the next one.